We know frogs are disappearing at an alarming rate and just keeping an eye on them uh, gives us an idea of what's happening and whether they're migrating, um, whether they are healthy, whether the population is increasing or steady or if something's wrong and they're suddenly declining. They are an integral part of the biodiversity around us and we have to preserve them. People can sign up to get a kit of information resources from us so that they can learn to identify the species that live in Ontario. We'll mail out a package that will help them identify the different sounds that they're hearing so that they can tell which species is making which sound at which time, and then they can report their observations to our online database at the zoo. It takes um, about three minutes um, as a minimum to just stand and listen by some wetland area. You have to be very still and very quiet um, and just listen for the sounds that you hear. For the past three or four years I've been working with Frog Watch and I've been entering tallies if frogs are absent or not absent in my community. All you have to do is you have to go on the website, a few simple clicks and record your frog counts and then it's done. And you can do that every night with your family and anybody can do it. I would really encourage people to do it. It's, it's um, not just about listening for frogs and watching for them. Um, during the season when frogs are calling, there's a lot of other um, creatures out there that are also getting very active in the springtime. And um, it's just amazing how much you suddenly see and hear. There are birds. Um, there are uh, salamanders that don't make any noise, just crawling around, and you notice them when you're standing still and listening. There's turtles that appear. It's just such a great opportunity to discover the, the, the natural world around you, the biodiversity that exists just within hand's reach.